So I know this is a departure from the type of videos I usually make, but I wanted to put something together for those of you who have ever thought, hey, cybersecurity, that sounds interesting. I think I'd like to do that, but you know, for money. And if that describes you, then you came to the right place because you're gonna listen and I'm gonna tell you some helpful things to know about getting a career in cybersecurity. So maybe you're in high school trying to decide on a major, maybe you're in college looking to break into the field after school, or maybe you're a mid-career professional looking to make a change. Maybe you're just curious why anyone would want to work in this space at all. Cybersecurity is a $155 billion industry and is showing no signs of slowing down. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics projects that there will be 3.5 million cyber job openings in 2025 alone. There are presently more job listings requiring CISSPs than people who presently have the certification. As more of our data and our lives go online, we will need to dedicate more resources to protect them. What do I do? System architecture, networking and security. Why should you listen to me? Well, when I'm not making devilishly clever YouTube videos, by the way, please subscribe. I do work a day job. I also have a master's degree in cybersecurity and years of professional experience in the industry across multiple companies. I have my CISSP and I'm certified by several different vendors. I have been given a lot of opportunities to study this field in the last decade. This isn't going to be super technical or exploratory, but rather it's aimed at helping someone just starting out. You know what we do here? My section? Sir, yes sir, I have an idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's say you have no idea, leave it at that, okay? So first of all, why is this a thing? Why is cybersecurity such a major player for career opportunities? Well, consider that the internet was developed with openness and connectivity as priorities, not security. As a result, efforts concerning regulation, protections, and privacy have always been playing catch up. It was hard to imagine in the early days how comfortable people would become with online activities like shopping, banking, and processing personal information. Fast forward to today when our entire personal and professional lives live online and you can start to understand why so much work needs to be done around this. The first thing you should know is there are several different disciplines you could get into. If you want to actually monitor an organization's network or IT systems and be the last line of defense for them, then you're interested in security operations or SecOps. If you want to focus on an emerging landscape with its own set of threats, public cloud security is becoming a major need for modern companies. If you want to help restore affected parties after a breach, incident response is a huge industry as well. There are also jobs out there for certified ethical hackers, consultants, auditors, firewall administrators, testers, analysts, you name it. With the right expertise, you can end up doing something for any company that has an online presence or uses software, so you're going to want to pick a lane and get specialized. The good news is even if you think you don't know enough or can't do it, there are literally so many jobs out there, you're bound to find a corner of the field that's right for you. And this is just my personal opinion, but it's important to realize that this is very much a B2B industry presently. I don't believe we've yet reached the point where consumers are willing to invest the money and time necessary for seriously hardening their home network infrastructures. People are much more likely to expect all of their internet transactions and devices to be secured by the operators on the other end, our banks, schools, government, and workplaces. I know there are personal VPNs and consumer grade security products out there, but I probably wouldn't recommend anyone looking for a career in the field to try starting out with a pure play B2C strategy. I mean, unless of course you have some brilliant idea you're cooking up, in which case, send me your email, I'd love to invest. The pros of getting involved? Well, the money is really good. There are also a ton of jobs available. Also, it's kind of nice to know at the end of the day that you're making things better. We want everyone to be safe online, we don't want our money or information stolen, and it's pretty cool to be one of the good guys. The cons? It can be a high stress industry. It goes without saying that when you hear about cybersecurity in the news, it's usually something really bad. And there are some difficult concepts that you'll undoubtedly need to understand, such as cryptography or advanced routing. If you're serious about this but have no idea where to start, my best advice is start by learning about networking. I mean really understanding how packets are delivered between computers. 
study the OSI model, learn the ports and protocols, and figure out all of the associated terms. You are going to need to memorize terminology. I have legitimately been asked in job interviews what a rainbow table or a logic bomb is just so that they could have confirmed that I was for real. You'll easily pick up the CIA triad and the least access privilege concepts, but I think network engineering is really fundamental to the field, and it's overlooked how much simpler this knowledge makes the more advanced stuff. Next I'd say figure out what it is you want to do in the industry, as this is really important. Are you interested in compliance and auditing? Do you want to get involved in building and working with security tools? Do you want to be a researcher? Do you want to support the military? When deciding on a job, you are going to want one that will afford you an opportunity to grow, learn, and train. Consulting companies or government jobs could help you find a role as a junior analyst where you can learn the ropes, so those are great places to look at. If you are already employed, I recommend to start asking to shadow cybersecurity personnel within the company. I guarantee that your employer would rather have more experts on staff than less. If you can't find a job easily, get a certification to show you are experienced. The CompTIA Security Plus is probably the best one to start with. It's even required for some jobs. The GSEC is another good introductory cert, and if you want to get into cloud security, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft all have base level cloud certifications available too. Lastly, gear up your resume to show that you have experience with information management. I am sure you do if you think about it. Every job deals with data in some way, and whether you realize it or not, you are undoubtedly tasked with carrying out a system to appropriately store and transmit that data. Paint the picture out for employers to see. The field changes a lot, so it never gets boring. Any advancement in computing or AI has a profound impact on the business of cybersecurity, and we continue to see the proliferation of APTs every single day. All of this means more jobs are being created faster than we can fill them. Oh, get a job? Yeah. Just get a job? Why don't I strap up my job helmet and squeeze down into a job cannon and fire off into job land where jobs grow on jobbies? So that's all I have for this one. Please let me know if you liked the video in the comments or if you'd like to see more like it in the future. Thank you so much for watching. So what do I do? I make sure that one bad config on one key component doesn't bankrupt the entire fucking company. That's what the fuck I do.